Hello friends, we are going to start Laravel chat application tutorial by using Ratchet WebSockets library and in this part. We will create required table in MySQL database. Under this tutorial, for login and registration page, we have use our previous tutorial series code of how to make custom login and registration in Laravel 9 framework, so if you have not seen the tutorial. So first see the tutorial for login and registration page. Now in this part, we have proceed for create required table in MySQL database for this chat application. So here, in text editor, we have load our custom login registration tutorial code. And under this custom login and registration Laravel application. We will make chat application by using Ratchet WebSockets library. So this custom login and registration application, we have connect this application with testing database. And under that database, we have already make users table. So now in this table, we want to add four table column like token, connection id, user status and user image. So for this, we have goes to command prompt and goes into directory in which we have built this chat application. And here, we have run this command, so it will make migrate file for auto user table. Now in text editor, we can see one new users table, migration file has been created. So here, we have opened this file, and here, we can see, up and down function. Now under this up function, we have to define column, which we want to add, into users table. So here we have to write, dollar table variable, with string function. And under this function, we have to write table column name token. Next for connection it table column, so here we have to write dollar table variable. With integer function, and under this, we have to write table column name connection it. After this, for add user status table column, so here we have to write dollar table variable. With enum function, and under this function, we have to write, column name like, user status. And in this column, we have to define value in array format, so here we have to write, online offline in array. And lastly, we want to add user image column, so here we have to write, dollar table variable with string function, and under this function, we have to write, column name user image. So here, we have defined required column in up function, now we want to define, same column in down function also. So here, we have to write, dollar table variable, with drop column function, with token column name. And for connection it table column, here we have to write, dollar table variable with drop column function with column name connection it. After this, for user status column name, here we have to write dollar table variable with drop column function with table column name user status. And lastly for user image table column, here we have to write dollar table variable with drop column function with table column name user image. So here our migration file is ready, for add column in users table, now we have goes to command prompt. And here, we have run this command, so it will add column into users table. Now here in users table, we can see that, token, connection id, user status and user image, table column has been added in users table. Now we have to open users model class file, and under this file, we have to define, new column name. So here we have add token connection id user status and user image column has been added in dollar fillable variable. After this, we want to make chat table in testing MySQL database. So for this, we have goes to command prompt and run following command. So this command will make chat table migration file and chat model class file also. First we have to open create chat table migration file and under this file. 
we can see up and down function, and we can define table column under this up function. Now for add from user it table column, here we have to write dollar table variable with integer function and under this function, we have to write table column name from user id. After this, for add to user table column name, so here we have to write dollar table variable with integer function and under this function, we have to write table column name to user id. Next, we want to add chat message table column name, so here we have to write dollar table variable with string function and under this function we have to write table column name chat message and same way we want to add message status table column so here we have to write dollar table variable with string function and under this function we have to write table column name message status so this way we can define table column under this migration file now we have goes to command prompt and run following command. So it will create chats table in MySQL database from this Laravel application. Now here in MySQL database, here we can see that chats table has been created. With table column like it from user id to user id chat message message status created at and updated at table column. So under this table, we will store chat messages. Now we have to open chat model class file for database operation. Under this file, we have to write protected dollar fillable variable is equal to an array. And here, we have to write table column like from user id to user id chat message and message status. So after define this column name, it will enable for database operation. Next we want to create chat requests table, so for this, we have goes to command prompt. And here, we have run this command, so it will create migration and model class, file, for chat requests table. So here in migration directory, we can see, chat requests migration file has been created. So first we have to open this chat request migration file, and here, we can see up and down function. Now for define, from user it table column name, so here we have to write dollar table variable with integer function and under this, we have to write from user it. After this, we want to add to user it table column, so here we have to write dollar table variable with integer function and under this, we have to write to user it. Next we want to add status table column, so here we have to write dollar table variable with enum function with two argument in first argument we have to write table column name status and in second argument we have to define column value in an array and under this array we have to write pending approve and reject so after define all table column now we have goes to command prompt and here, we have run this command, so it will create chat requests table in MySQL database from this Laravel application. Now here in MySQL database, we can see that chat requests table has been created. With table column like id, from user id to user id, status, created at and updated at table column. So this three table like users, chats and chat requests table, we will use under this chat application. Now we have to open chat request model class file and under this file we have to write protected dollar fillable variable is equal to an array and under this we have to write table column like from user id to user id and status so after define this we can use this model class for database operation so in this part, we have create required table in MySQL database from this Laravel application. And we have also make model class file for database operation. In next part, we will install Ratchet WebSockets library under this Laravel application. So we will be meet in next part of Laravel Ratchet WebSockets chat application tutorial series.